Good evening, everybody. My name is Lark Keeler. I'm the past president of FAEA, and I am delighted to welcome you to the first ever 2020 Virtual Artist Bazaar. I'm thrilled to be joined by five incredible artists and members of FAEA that will be sharing their wares and creations with all of you this evening. Everyone will have the opportunity to take 10 minutes of time to show you their different things that they'd like to sell, to tell you a little bit about themselves and their products, how you can order them, and um, information about perhaps even some wonderful sales that are happening this holiday season. So thank you for joining us. Thank you for being here. And Thank you for being a part of this fun experiment. 2020 has been a crazy year, um, but things like this have been the fun parts that have come out of it. So reinventing some of our usual programming for FAEA has been a fun challenge for us. And um, I'm thrilled to see many of our board members here today and lots of familiar faces. So thank you for being here and thank you for supporting FAEA. Thank you for also supporting your friends and members um, that are artisans in their own crafts. So um, welcome and thank you for being here today. We're going to have five different artists showcased today. Our five artists will be going in alphabetical order. We have Irina Ashcraft, we have Donna Haynes, Jack Matthews, Andrea Obenland, and Beverly Williams. So I would like to invite Beverly, um, sorry, Irina Ashcraft to unmute her microphone to let all of the attendees know what I'll be doing is putting information in the chat about her um, lo logos and links and places of contact um, anywhere that she would like for me to share with you. And if you have questions, you can park those in the chat and I'll help sort of co-pilot and let her know. So welcome, Irina. Please take it away. Oh, hi. Hi, Lark. Hi, everybody. I really miss seeing everybody in person, but uh, this is the best we can do and I have to be grateful for this. So uh, good evening. Um, just uh, wanted to start off by sharing my screen. And um, well, I've been a member of, of, of FAEA since 2006. I had to go back and take a look. Um, so I have met quite a few of you throughout the years and I've participated in quite a few of uh, bazaars. So uh, those of you who know me know that I'm a painter. Uh, so I have a painting degrees and, um, specifically. So it's not a surprise that I'm sharing with you tonight our bunch of uh, uh, painting, a variety of media that I have created throughout the years. Um, my education is in oil painting specifically, but of course, uh, I love to dabble in a variety of materials. Um, and there are a couple of links that I would be happy to share with you so you can browse my um, artwork. Um, the first one is the artwork Colorful. It is an eBay store, believe it or not. I've had it for quite a few years, <laughs> honestly. I was going to close it down, but I'm glad I didn't. Look, I wouldn't have been able to share it with you. Um, I believe I have nearly 100 pieces listed there. So for you guys to browse, uh, you can browse everything. Or if you would like to take a look at specific uh, categories, they're here located on the left. Um, the sizes and the uh, price range in this store is probably really comparable to what I would show at the Artist Bazaar at our conference. So, um, and some of you might be familiar with my work and recognizing some techniques and styles. So that's the first link I invite you to check out. And I believe Lark is, uh, is sharing with you in the chat so you have uh, better access to it. Another link is my Etsy store. So I, I do give it a try, see if there's any difference. Um, the pieces that I show in my Etsy store, um, they do not repeat. So they're different from uh, eBay. So if you check out both, you'll see different things. Uh, same here, you'll see categories on the left or you can just check out everything. What you'll see here is mostly my, uh, painting a day that I like to do on summer break, or I've done this project. This is a second year. I call it a painting a week. It's basically my commitment to practice. Um, as you all know, life gets in the way. And so I felt like I owed it to myself to keep uh, um, honing my skills as an artist. So this, uh, a lot of works in this uh, Etsy store that you will see actually come from this sketchbook. I'm almost done with my 2020, just a couple of pages left for my uh, weekly uh, artwork. And you'll see a variety of other things that I've done uh, throughout several summers where I've done like say a painting a week 
or painting a day even <laughs> crazy, but it was fun. So um, these are a couple of links here that I like for you uh, to check out. Um, if you'd like to see my larger work, you can go on my website, artworkbyarena.com. I do admit it. It's, it's about 15 years old, but this is where if you're curious to see my larger works, uh, you're welcome to check it out um, as well and learn a little bit more about me. Um, I'm originally from Latvia, so you can kind of read up a little bit on my bio. Check out the shot. I used to be young and beautiful. Now I'm just beautiful. Uh, <laughs> so uh, these are some resources for you. Uh, something new that I wanted to share with everybody is um, I call it my pandemic hobby, eco printing. This is something that um, I kind of dove deep into this summer, starting maybe in May. I just found myself needing an outlet when my brain was on overdrive. And you guys can relate from, you know, jumping into remote learning. And it was a lot. Usually travel is a good outlet for me in the summer, but all my plans were, you know, canceled. So I needed something for my mind, something new that I didn't know about, something exciting. And so eco printing was introduced to me by my friend. And first I was like, ah, I'm not sure. And, and the more I learned about it, the more I really got into. I started printing on paper uh, firstly, and then I've never worked with fabric before. And check it out. I have now my Etsy store where I am offering. Uh, it's pretty new. It's like a one or two months old uh, where you can see my eco printed assortment of silk scarves. So I'm not sure how much you caught from uh, the screen about eco printing, but it's, it's fascinating to me. It's kind of a magic. That's why my store is called eco printing <laughs> magic. Uh, there's a little bit of a science there's a little bit of art and comes together to me in a magical and unexpected way. And each result is absolutely unique. I would like to require stop sharing. Uh, switch to a different camera in my studio and show you kind of a selection of my scarves. And say hello. <laughs> uh, this is my trusting model today. Um, just as you're browsing, I thought it would be nice to show you kind of the look and feel of fabric. Um, so this is 100% silk. I have a couple of sizes for you. Uh, one is eight by 52. This is the size I'm wearing. And my model lady is wearing. This is 100% silk habitai. Uh, believe it or not, I did not have any idea what silk types that were more than one. It's pretty fascinating. Um, so another size that I have to show you um, that I have listed on my Etsy store is this 11 by 58, I believe. So you can see it's larger, bigger coverage, but again, same kind of flowy, fun um, feel. So all of this is uh, done by hand. I put on every leaf. I arrange every leaf by hand. So this is not machine made, um, done by, you know, kind of a handwork. And every imprint is unique. Another type of silk you'll see in my store, it's called silk satin. Those of you from, are familiar with fabric, it is kind of more of a thicker hand. It's more luxurious feel to the fabric. Uh, I personally um, really enjoy um, this uh, type of uh, silk. So a little bit about uh, eco printing for you. I um, also, of course, I'm a teacher and I would love to teach with, a, you know, to pass on the knowledge. And so you, uh, if you're intrigued at all and interested, uh, please feel free to uh, check my website. I have already run two workshops on how to eco print on paper. And my third run is on January 9th. It's on Zoom platform. So you can sit in your pajamas and slippers, sip, sip your cocoa <laughs> or whatever else you want and um, you know, enjoy learning about it. So you can check out my website to see more information about this workshop. It's fascinating to me, just like we're connecting now from the comfort of our homes or studios. I've had students from UK, Australia, Canada, 
I really didn't realize what it was opening, what possibilities and fun connections uh, were opening up for me through this, my new, my new interest, my new hobby. So looking at the positive side of where we are um, with the pandemic. So, um, Marvina, we've got a question. Um, can you give us the price range of your scarves, please? Oh yeah, so you could see also on uh, Etsy, but it's between 50 and $70. And they're all 100% uh, natural silk. They're handmade. I, I do not hand make the fabric, I buy it. But other than that, uh, and each scarf is unique. There is, an, I cannot repeat. So you kind of, it's a unique wearable work of art. This is what I would look at it, uh, the way I look at it. Uh, feel free to, for the convenience of payment options, you can um, purchase directly from Etsy or eBay. But um, I'm happy to extend a 10% discount for direct sale, in which case, feel free to email me and just say what you might have liked uh, on, uh, on, in those um, um, links. And then I accept PayPal, Venmo, Zelle, we can go from there. Um, one other opportunity for those of you guys who are in Central Florida, or maybe those of you who don't mind a little drive this Sunday, is uh, my open studio. Um, I do it once a year, my holiday open house just happens to be this coming Sunday, December 13th. And uh, um, I would like to welcome you guys in. Um, if you're interested, please also email me and I'll be happy to give you my address. I'm specifically in Warner Springs. Um, so those of you in Central Florida probably have a better idea. Orlando area, Winter Park, uh, Longwood, Oviedo, those uh, suburbs are nearby. Um, so would love to have you guys if you enjoy my artwork and would like to follow me on my adventures. I have a couple accounts on Instagram, um, Irina Ashcraft Art, where you'll see my paintings and then Eco Printing Magic, because it's so magical, <laughs> is where you would see my eco printing adventures, which now I'm into printing on leather. Not ready to share yet, I'm into <laughs> testing, but um, when I started playing with paper uh, about six months ago, I did not even imagine that I would even print a fabric. So, um, so we'll see where it uh, takes me. How am I doing on time, Lark? We've just, we've just run out of time for you, Irina. Oh, and right. I want to Look say thank you so much for being our Perfect. first guinea pig and thank volunteer. Um, I think that so many people are probably familiar with Irina's work because you have participated, I think, every year that we've offered the Artist Bazaar. So thank you I'm for being sure, yeah. one of the legacy members of, of that grand experiment and trying this new version of it out today with us. I'm, I'm very appreciative. Um, if you don't know Irina, um, she's a native of Latvia. And I was just talking about that today with my students, Irina, because that's the origin of mittens. And so we were talking about mittens in my kindergarten class. I did not know about that. That's and so that's where mittens originated. Yeah. So I was just talking all about Latvia today. Oh, anyway, she's been a teacher so for 19 years, everybody. And so um, she is a graduate of the Latvian Academy of Art with a major in painting. And I think probably most of us are most familiar with her style of painting work that we see every year at the um, conference. So um, you probably have seen her work there. You um, have heard she's from Winter Springs, Florida. She's a faculty member at the Trinity Preparatory School in Winter Park. Um, and there she teaches a variety of 2D courses to high school students. Um, we are seeing her studio and her house house where she creates her artwork and she's also holding private art lessons and workshops for students of all ages there. So um, Irina, thank you so much for stepping thank forward you guys. and being our first participant this evening. I'm so glad Congratulations you guys. Let's to be here and share and share. Thank, Thank you. you. If anybody has any questions for Irina, feel free to include those in the chat. She's going to head over to the chat if there's anyone she needs to speak to there. Um, and um, I've dropped in all of those sorts of um, links and things that she was interested in sharing. If you'd like to check those out of her websites and other places where you can order those beautiful scarves and fabulous paintings. So thank you, Irene. I appreciate it very much. Next up this evening, we are welcoming Donna Haynes. And Donna Haynes has over 15 years of teaching experience in the Broward District. She holds the position of the Visual Arts Curriculum Supervisor, kindergarten through 12th grade for Broward County Public Schools for the past five years. She has an active interdisciplinary artistic practice, which I'm very familiar with down in Broward County. Um, her focus um, revolves around drawing, installation, and sculpture. She comes from a family of artists and has started a small creative company. And so you're going to be hearing a little bit about that today. So welcome, Donna. Um, you may begin sharing your screen. Okay. 
my little timer on. Hi. Um, I just want to say thanks so much for, for doing this. Um, I'm really excited to, uh, to present. Last year was actually my first year uh, presenting at the Artist Bazaar, um, and I had so much fun, and um, I was just really excited when this opportunity came, uh, came up. Um, like Lark said, I, I, I am a, a you know, professional artist. I have my own studio. Um, some of it is right here. I tried to clean up a little bit for you guys. <laughs> um, but, you know, I also, um, along with education, I have a family of artists. And we really got into um, just making because we have our whole life. Um, I have three, uh, two sisters, a family of five. Uh, my dad, the football coach, um, got three daughters. And uh, we are all artsy. Uh, my mom's an art teacher um, and math, sorry, art and math. Um, my dad, you know, of course, was in education, went on to be a principal. My sister is an art teacher, and my other sister is a, a scientist, which I believe is, you know, right up our alley. So we like to make, we even turned our dad into an artist in his retirement. He does woodcuts now, uh, which I'm going to encourage him on making his website. Um, but you know what we did with um, our, our company, I just said, you know, you guys, we, we love to sit around. We love making things. Um, we started off with the Day of the Dead Festival here. Uh, we've done that for almost 10 years now. Um, and, you know, I said, it's finally time that, you know, we start putting it online. So this year, we finally uh, went to Squarespace. And I have to say, you know, as a teacher, you guys, it is not that hard. I was so intimidated by this. Um, but we did it. We got our inventory on. Um, it is not that hard. Um, so uh, what we decided on as our business plan, um, and we truly are a family business. My parents are doing uh, the shipping um, and, of course, some of the creating. My sisters and I, we, um, I do a lot of the laser cutting. We decided on one area, and it's earrings. We started small. Uh, for the website. Um, and that's what I showed you guys last year. And so I cut the, I do the, a lot of the designing with my uh, sisters and my mom. Um, and our company is Amped Artisans. And Amped Artisans is Alice, my mom, Don, uh, Margaret, my sister, <laughs> Donna, me, and uh, Paige, my other sister. So that was our fun avenue of deciding our name. Um, and uh, we kind of design together, we put the earrings together, we paint them together, we do something different to all of them. Um, and that's what's making up our company right now. So I am going to show you our website. Let me share our screen. Host has disabled attendee screen sharing. Should I Let me try it again? Josh, can you be sure that Donna has access, please? Yeah, sorry about that. That's how Zoom works sometimes. Yes. <laughs> well, Jack was helping her with that. Okay. I'll say that I have a pair of these earrings that I got at the last Artist Bazaar from you, Donna, that have skeletons, uh, skulls on the bottom, and they're like this big, and they're like showstoppers. Oh. And even on Zoom, the kids could see them because they're like that big. But the great thing about them is that they're so lightweight. They're so lightweight. So you can wear these massive door knockers and like, they feel good. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for the prop. Um, yeah, these are the smaller version of them that don't have the extension up the ear. Um, and what we found, uh, I found this great wood that's very, um, it's super, super thin, but it's super strong. So that's what we're making these earrings out of. And what we always, you know, we always, you know, solve a problem. Uh, I love huge earrings and I love these big statement earrings, but my ears just weight down. So when we found this uh, wood, I was, you know, we started on the journey with doing these big, um, very artistic, funky earrings. Um, so this is our site, Amped Artisans. And today, through December 8th through 13th, um, we have a 20% off all orders um, for FAEA uh, members. Um, and in the discount code, when you check out, you would just put FAEA 2020 AB. And I'll send this to you, Lark, so we can send it out because um, we can extend this out to Sunday. Um, so we, we wanted to give you all a 20% off um, and hope that you like these. Um, so our website um, is pretty much... Um, Bare bones, uh, we have you know, our designs on here. This is our way that you can check us out. 
on the get in touch page. Um, if you maybe have a design, are we just, I just added today a lot to our inventory. Um, but there might be like one or two on the inventory. You can always uh, get in touch with us, Amped Artisans Gmail, um, if there's one on there and we don't have it in inventory. Um, as far as getting it out to you um, in time before the holiday, it usually takes about a week for anything that we have inventory right now. So um, even those, we just sent some out uh, last week on the other coast, they got there within a week. So I would say if you order within this week, it'll probably get there. Um, we just do regular ground shipping and all of our shipping is free. Um, so this is just an area you can get in touch with us um, and you can always email me. Um, we have a little bit here of our story. Um, this was a great quote that my grandmother said every day of her life. Um, she was also an artist, uh, but this is us. This is my mom. Um, these are my two sisters. This is actually my uh, niece, which we are in training to be part of our company um, because we really just uh, we, we joke all the time. We love to sit around, have a glass of wine, have some cheese and crackers, and then we have all of our crafts out and we just make and make and make. Um, this was the Day of Dead Festival. We did made headbands this year. Um, so um, a little bit about our company. If you want to read about us, um, it's very you know short and what I just told you, but um, we just have fun doing this. And I can tell you, my parents are both in retirement and this has gotten them into, they're just jazzed. They're so excited to be part of this. Um, and it's really just, it's become a really great thing for our family. Um, so the best part here is our shop. Um, we have been doing the earrings uh, a little bit in, in, I guess you could say additions of um, certain genres. Um, and we have all these up here. This shows all of our earrings. You can sift through all of them to look at them. Our prices are really 25 to 35. We also have a gift card um, offered. If you want to put a gift card and give that to a friend and then they can pick out their own pair, um, it just goes with a code that you'll give them just like um, you would like an Amazon card. Um, so we do have these certain areas. Um, this was something new we just came out with with game day earrings. We don't have the knolls on here yet, but they're coming soon. Um, but we have, you know, the gators, the bulls, the canes, uh, mostly, you know, our Florida area for those game day earrings. Um, and then navigating, you can go back to the shop um, and uh, we have them all in categories. Um, some of the new ones that are maybe more appropriate for this time of year, um, we've done our winter holiday earrings. Um, we have some of the Star of David um, for Hanukkah. We have our um, ice skates, and these are all around two inches. Um, when you do click on the piece, it does come up. It'll say um, what it's made of. We use Swarovski crystals on them. Um, and it'll tell you the size of them. Um, and to purchase them, you just go to purchase. It goes through PayPal. Um, and also you can enter a credit card um, for the uh, payment. Um, some of the other designs, I just wanted to show you the rest of the winter holiday. Um, we have our uh, Christmas trees. These are our holly design. It will say if it is sold out, we just sold this out um, last week. Um, but please look back, we keep adding them as they come in. And we have some really cool ice skates. My uh, niece is an ice skater. So uh, we had to make some ice skates for her. That was her design. We really are training them to, you know, continue with this. Um, we do have some stars that are pretty much, you know, apropos around the holiday. I don't know if I'm going too fast. I tend to talk really fast. <laughs> You're looking good, Donna. Okay. You've got about a minute left. Oh, goodness. Um, and if you are interested, uh, we do have many of the sugar skulls. This is probably the most that we have. Um, we have our cats, which are super popular. And I just updated the inventory um, to have all these, uh, our sugar skull cats. Um, probably the sugar skulls are the most we have um, because we do the, the show every year. These are bigger, uh, much bigger, but like I said, they're so lightweight, um, you, can barely, you can barely feel them on you. Um, so take a look at all of our designs. We have many, many designs. Um, we have so much fun uh, making them. 
Um, and you know, we hope that you have just as much fun wearing them. Um, as far as gift wrapping, I know that uh, you asked the question. Um, we, it does come in a nice little bag with our, um, our logo on it. I just made a stamp yesterday. Um, so it has a little stamp on it. So um, it kind of comes in a little gift uh, when you get it. I think that was all I had to share. Thank you so much, Donna. Does anyone have any questions? If you do, you can drop them into the chat. Um, Donna will be making her way over there, but I can't tell you how comfortable these amazing earrings are. I'm dying to know the secret ninja process of how you're doing these, like behind the scenes, it's top secret, um, but no. they are beautiful and they almost are like, I don't know, it, it's, it, they're really fun to wear and they're a statement piece and it's quite noticeable and um, so much fun. So Donna, so nice to see you today. And thank you so much for being a part of our experience at in this virtual artist bazaar thank you thank everybody for being here and supporting uh local artisans in the state of florida so thank you donna thanks all right so next up in our program today is the fabulous Jack Matthews, who is a former president of FAEA. He lives in Jacksonville, Florida, and um, as an artist, he's known for his healing hearts and scarves. And you've probably seen those at Artist Bazaars and our state conference in the past. He um, designs for an international company known as Vita. And... Um, his um, Healing Hearts, by the way, began as a charitable project focusing on hunger in Florida. And so a lot of Jack Matthews work, he um, donates money back. And so you'll be hearing a bit more about that today. And um, I'll be sharing some information in the chat. Jack is with us today, even after a bit of dental work. And so I'm pleased that Jack was able to join us even with an ice pack on his cheek. But I have to tell you that I'm really thrilled about the pre-recorded video that Jack has sent to share with you today. But before I um, begin our video, Jack, was there anything that you wanted to share? Uh, can you hear me? Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, no, but first of all, uh, I am so impressed with Donna's website. That's fantastic. Um, <laughs> let me move this away from my cheek. Um, anyway, uh, I want to give thanks to my beautiful, wonderful granddaughter who created this video. And I'm glad we did it because I don't think I could talk for a whole lot of uh, time over this. But um, I do, do uh, on my clay pieces, I donate 50% to um to fight hunger in in florida um and then uh the the scarves that i sell through beta if you went to the website you would be paying the full price plus ten dollars shipping a minimum of, of ten dollars shipping and so i'm selling the scarves that i have very limited numbers that i have but uh for far less i won't say any more about it because it's all in the video <laughs> And the video is so terrific. Uh, Jack's 13 year old granddaughter is the um, maybe director and producer. Uh, Absolutely. Director -producer. And be, be looking for flamingos. Oh my heavens. It's, you haven't seen anything like this folks. So this is the premiere of Jack Matthews and his granddaughter's <laughs> directorial debut. Um, let me begin sharing my screen so that you can see this magic. Merry Christmas and welcome to my Christmas studio. Not really, this is my family room because my studio is exploding with all kinds of projects that are going on. And I am decked out for the holidays in flamingo, flamingo, and flamingos everywhere. So I want to tell you about the things I'm selling uh, on this Christmas bazaar. And I want to thank FAEA for allowing me to be part of this. I represent Earthly Creations and a company called Vida. And with my Earthly Creations, some of you are already familiar with my Healing Hearts. Okay? The Healing Hearts were created for somebody to purchase in honor of somebody, in memory of somebody, somebody who was going through uh, a difficult situation. And, and they were pretty successful. But what I started doing was working smaller and I started creating these smaller hearts that you can carry in your hand. These happen to have a little rattle in them and I was selling them for $3, still selling them for $3. What I've done now, I've turned them into ornaments and in sets of ornaments. 
So this one, and this one happens to have little snowflake buttons on them, a set of three. Now when I create my hearts, no two hearts are ever alike. Just like two human hearts are never alike, these hearts aren't either. The way they're put together, the way they're stained, the way glazes go on them, makes them all very, very uh, individual in their appearance. Now, this set of three I sell for $20 in this box set. It says, Earthly Creations by Jack Matthews. And I have quite a number of buttons that you can choose from, and those will be on my page, but they're limited. Sometimes I have several buttons that I can make several sets. Sometimes I may only be able to make three. So keep that in mind when you're looking at the orders. I want to point out a very, very special ornament that I've created, and it has a flamingo on it. Ah, F-A-E-A, -A, mm, flamingos, flamingos, flamingos everywhere around. This ornament, I'm selling $5 or a set of three for $20. That money will go to F-A-E-A. -A. So keep that in mind. The flamingo ornaments, if you purchase that, you will be supporting F-A-E-A. -A. Now, the other thing I want to tell you about are the scarves. The modal scarf is a silk, a botanical silk, uh, and it's very lightweight, very luxurious, but it's less expensive than traditional silk. Now, if you were purchasing this online to the Beta site, this scarf would cost you $50 plus $10 in shipping. I'm selling them for this special, $35 each or three for $100. Now, as I may have mentioned already, everything is limited. The stock that I have, I'm very limited on what I have uh, on hand. So it's first come, first serve when you uh, order these scarves. But I can have these scarves out to you in one to two days. If you order this through Vita, because of uh, being a scarf, it will not arrive before Christmas. So order through me and I guarantee you will have it within this next week, okay? So I do want to point out one other scarf that I have, and I actually have three different kinds, but this is not the modal, this is cotton. Again, very lightweight, but this one is called Vintage Wisteria. And I only have one of them, folks, but it's a beautiful design, very pastel, very beautiful for the spring. And again, uh, $35. Now, what I'm doing for this sale only, I'm charging a flat $5 for shipping and handling. In many cases, especially with the ornaments because they're heavy, I'm taking, uh, 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 not a beating, but I'm eating up a lot of that shipping and handling and just charging $5 to keep it all very simple. Now you have two ways that you can pay. One is through PayPal and all that information will be on my page. The other way is through Square. And that means if you were to call me and we can talk about what you want and I have it in stock, then you just give me your credit card information and I plug it in and uh, you make your purchase. So that's basically it. My ornaments, the little handheld uh, hearts, the scarves, and uh, remember, if you buy the Flamingo ornaments, you are supporting FAEA. And one scarf, $35, three scarves, $100. That's an uh, additional savings. So I wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Bye-bye. Jack, that is just so terrific. <laughs> my, uh, my granddaughter did that in almost no time, and I was just so impressed with her because I am not technologically savvy. <laughs> I want to you share. already know. <laughs> I'm going to share Jack's um, website in the chat, and he's operating through Facebook. When you go into Facebook, you'll be able to find the imagery to click through um, to find out more information. Was there anything more that you wanted to add to that, Jack?
Uh, no, I do have one of scarves because I wasn't sure whether anyone could really see this. But uh, this one is called Amethyst. And again, when you go to my page, you're going to see images of each of the scarves. So you can click on those and see them a lot closer. But uh, this, this one right here, and you can see it's very sheer, but the, the colors, I just love the colors on, on this particular one in the, uh, the purples, deep purples, and they all come from my original watercolors. Uh, some I've created designs for like the uh, uh, festive red and green, but otherwise um, they're from all original watercolors that I've, that I've created. So anyway, it's, it's just a really beautiful, wonderful material uh, that they create this out of. I agree, Jack. I, I'm a big fan. I've got one of your scarves and I also um, was gifted one of your beautiful hearts and I, I have another that I purchased from you and they're, they're wonderful things to give and to receive. And so um, thank you, Jack. I, I just wanted to take a moment since we've got um, a minute and a little bit more left to um, share with everybody just what your website is looking like. So um, hopefully you can see his website here and you can see how he's featuring with information about the different things that he is selling. Here are information about the buttons um, with the PayPal information up above or his phone here. Um, so if you have any questions, feel free to drop those in the chat. And um, Jack, if you can hang on a little longer and take a look and see if anyone has any questions, that would be terrific. Um, Absolutely. Thank you so much, Jack. That video was something mm -hmm. special. So <laughs> thank you very much. He's definitely been watching yeah. HSN. Yeah. Um, really okay. appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so next up, we have Andrea Obenland, and I am excited to invite her to come on up next. She has an MFA in studio art with a concentration in photography. She's combined 18 years of experience teaching art to elementary, high school, and college students. She's currently teaching at Clearwater Central Catholic High School and she serves there as the visual arts department chair. Um, she works in a number of media, including photography, clay, fiber art. Her hope as a teacher is one in which her students walk away from their art experience, more aware of who they are as an artist and also as a person. Love that. Please welcome Andrea. Hello. Um, so everybody can hear me okay? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> so thank you for this opportunity to do this. Um, and last year was my first time to do the bazaar at the um, at the conference, and so I, when when we got this email, I was like, "Yes, I'm going to sign up for it." Um, so uh, yeah, so I am um, like she's like Lark said, I work in fibers, and I just happened upon just started knitting one day, and I um, I'm going to share my screen here. And um, let me get my page back. Hold on. Yeah. And um, so I make these uh, baskets. And it all started with making these little baskets. And I don't know if anybody, um, I do have these baskets here. I'm going to get this a little smaller because it's in the way for me. OK. Um, so these are Mobius baskets that I knit out of Moreno wool. And, um, and then I just throw them in the in hot water and then they shrink up. And the fascinating thing about them is, I think, is this is what they look like when you first start, right before I throw it in the, in the, um, I actually just throw it in the, in the washing machine on hot and run it. I'll probably run this one like four or five times. Um, this one's a different kind of, of uh, wool. It's a Japanese wool and um, so the other ones are made from, hold on. And now I can't get the, there we go. Um, the, this is made from a different type of wool. Um, and it's just, I buy the wool that I think it's gonna look the best. And if you go through my Etsy page, you'll notice um, all the different ones that I have. I think I have eight that are up here. And then tonight, or, or anyone who's um, 
a member, um, my shipping's always free, but I'll take five dollars off the uh, the the uh, baskets as well. Um, and then the only thing with Etsy is that it likes to open up a new page every time. Um, but also, I started these. I sold some of these last year at the bazaar, and these are just envelopes uh, from. This is something I really enjoy doing. They're envelopes made from um, calendars that I get. And so I have envelopes, I have tags, um, I have small envelopes you can go through and click ones and look at the ones that you um, would like. They have the sizes on them. They also have even a picture of what size they would be um, just to help you along um, instead of just looking at um, a number that says they're like three by five. And these started right when we went into lockdown. I really started getting into teaching from teaching from home and I was like stir crazy. And, and so I just started making. And then I, I realized that I had this old book that I bought in an antique store. And uh, so this is one of my favorites where it was an old book of lithographs. And so I just went in and I tore out pages and I made envelopes, very therapeutic. I don't know why. Um, and then they also had nautical maps. And so these are huge maps that were just kind of folded up. And so, and if you look, and I don't know if you can see on this front one, but some of them still have writing on them from, you know, somebody that's written on them with a pencil. And I don't see that they're on here. So these are kind of the things that I'm I'm working on. Um, I like to to repurpose things. Um, if you're ever like in my house, you'll notice that I have weird things that I use to hold things. Like I have a, an old chicken feeder um, in order to uh, put my pens and pencils in. So um, there's always something. I'm looking at something and seeing what else can I do with it. Uh, so, yeah, so feel free to, to, to take a look. Um, I do have masks too, but that's either here or there. But I was making masks for myself and then people wanted to buy masks and then I was like, oh, I'll just throw some on here. So, um, and I've sold a few, but my main thing is, um, is my baskets. The, these are, once you get them, they're already made up, obviously, from the pictures. And if someone wants to order one, I can also Venmo as well, but um, they will go out the next day. The one thing that I have that's custom made is I also, like, like Lark said, I like to probably do too much media. I make books. I sold some books last year at the bazaar as well, but this is one that I have. And there's a story behind this one. Those years ago I bought these kids albums and I thought what am I going to do with them I didn't I thought they were cool I was at an antique junk shop and they laid around laid around and last year I had my students make books out of the the card bound the the outside I said I want you to make it out of something not traditionally book like and so I had students making out of cereal boxes and um, what else? Um, oatmeal boxes. I had one girl who resin coated or threw resin all over some um, colored pencils and made a book. Those are the book cover, the front and back. And so I was home one day and I was like, I saw these laying there. I was like, now I know what I need to do with these. And so I made these books or a book. And so this is a custom order. So if you want something like this, it all comes with, um, this is, uh, I think Reeves BFK uh, paper. So it's archival and it is a caterpillar stitch. So one of my favorite stitches is very similar kind of, it's like a Coptic stitch, but everything goes through the, um, the fold of the paper. And then you can design what the front and back looks like. So it looks like a caterpillar on the, on the top. And that's what holds it together. And then I have also reinforced the fold with two layers of linen tape. 
in order for it to, um, when I'm going through there with the needle and the thread, the wax thread, um, it will be reinforced and not want to tear. These take about two to three weeks before I can get them out. And I have these colors uh, of thread um, for the uh, binding aspect of it. But um, yeah, so this is my Etsy page and I would like to add some more things to it eventually. I am gonna make some bowls that are don't have the handles on them um, and the kind of nesting felted bowls. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna stop sharing for right now. And Thank you, Andrea. I was wondering, can you show me with your hands, like the size of those um, baskets? So awesome. And what does the little tag say? Did you? The tag says uh, "Knits by Andrea" on there. Very cool. Yeah. So uh, there was a comment in um, the chat about the eco relics in Jacksonville. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with that, but they um, are also interested in repurposing things in the same ways or in similar ways as you. Okay. Um, Thank yeah, you so much for, that. Uh, thanks for sharing and, and mm -hmm. also talking about that really cool process. I was like, man, I really wanted to do a workshop. Um, mm -hmm. Such fun ideas and um, what gorgeous things. Uh, I, have, I think I need like 50 of those baskets. Jeez, I'm going to have to figure out what to do. Um, <laughs> anyway, I love them. Beautiful. Thank you for being a part of this, Andrea. You're welcome. Uh, Thank you for hosting this. You have any um, questions you want to put over in the chat for her? Um, let me just make sure that everybody has had a chance to see um, her information. So I'm going to park her Etsy chat and also her, or, sorry, her Etsy chat, her Etsy shop, and also her Venmo um, over in the chat in case anybody um, needs those links and wants to check them out, bookmark them for some shopping. Um, and thank you so much for your support and being here today, Andrea. I really appreciate yeah. it. Thank you. Thank the you record. so much. Thank you. For Next, I'd like to invite Beverly Williams, um, and she's a 31-year veteran art teacher. That's a long time, Beverly. Um, she's been teaching grades K through 12 all the way through college. Her last 26 years of teaching was spent at Union Academy Magnet Middle in Bartow, Florida. Yes. Am I saying that right? Uh -huh. Yes, Bartow. I can't say I've ever been there. Um, <laughs> I, she is um, operating also in an international baccalaureate school in the middle years program. Uh, I, I'm in IB school myself. Um, she retired in 2018 and she's currently working part-time as a visual arts workshop leader for IB. Um, before the pandemic, she traveled around the, the country and now she's working virtually training teachers um, in the IB philosophy. So um, she has a bachelor's of science degree in art education and um, a master's degree in illustration um, from the Savannah College of Art and Design. Um, she is a FAEA member and has been since her college days in 1985. That's some awesome support. And she was um, the, formerly the FAEA middle school chair in 2016. Um, she was honored in 96 as the middle level art educator of the year. Um, one thing that she added here at the end that I loved was that she shared for many years, I was proud to promote my students artwork at shows, exhibitions, festivals, and other events. However, it left little time for my own work. And now that I am semi-retired, I've turned my focus on my own work and promoting it. And I love that. So thank you so much for being here, Beverly. Take it, take it away. Well, thank you so much. Um, I'm excited to be here and I've done the Artist Bazaar once before and I wanted to get into it again, um, like Clark said. And I'm so excited. I just moved into a studio here at um, the Artifacts Building in Lakeland. And um, so and it's a, a place with about um, 15 other artists in here as well. So I'm excited to get started and have my own little space. Um, well, first off, I... I started with, um, let me, oh, hang on just a minute. <laughs> I forget this. All right, I got a screen share here. <laughs> so I do have an Etsy shop and I, I really, I have two Etsy shops. And so let me um, get out of the way here. Let me move it everything over. So this is my shop, Arts by Beverly Baza Beverly's Bazaar. And um, I've been in, what I've done is, you know, when you're an art teacher, you teach everything. You teach painting and drawing and photography and, um, you know, and I was also the yearbook um, 
uh, person at my school. So I got really into a lot of photography and um, using the computer, Photoshop, digitally ma manipulating my artwork. And so I wanted to show you a couple of pieces. Uh, first off, I'm selling two ways. First off, I'm selling as some physical pieces because you know I thought we'd have a lot of art shows, so I had some of my art printed. And as you can see here, it's um, the sunflower. And let me grab. These are done by Canvas on Demand, and Canvas on Demand is a great um, a great company because everything is very. Um, I guess I'm saying that it's. Uh, solid face museum grade canvas images have been printed using archival ink to prevent fading so it's a really solid piece of artwork and so you can kind of see how it is it comes pre um, hot ready to hang with all the hanging stuff on it so it's a really nice thing and what i like about these canvases is that you don't have to have a frame on it because the artwork goes around the edge as well so it gives it um, a nice look to it so um, let me go to go back. And another one that I've done, I've been getting into some abstracts, which I've been enjoying. And they're just basically, um, and all my stuff is, the next part that, um, that I'm also doing are you're buying the digital prints, you're doing a digital download. And it's kind of nice because you don't have to have all this stock of prints. And um, I'm trying to get into where maybe down the road I will be um, doing drop shipping where you can select a certain size. But with this way, you can, um, you can download it to your computer and print it out yourself, or you could take it to your favorite printer and have it printed there. Um, you can have it printed on pillows, coasters, um, and I send you a uh, four sizes that are um, that you can use and you can see the ratio, there's a four by five, so it'd be a four by five inch, eight by 10, 16 by 20, and then three by four, and you can see the different sizes there. Um, two by three, and then 11 by 14. Now, you know, because they're different shapes, some may um, get a little bit stuff cut off, but it should fit pretty well. And you can, you know, for whatever you're using it for. And um, I love taking texture, pictures of textures and patterns, and I crop it so that it gives it an abstract look. And like I said, once you buy this, you get a digital download. And I think I also, through IB, I got to, uh, they invited me to go to China. I got to go to Hong Kong and um, I took some amazing photos there and uh, manipulate them on the computer to give you a look of watercolor. And so you can see those. This is one of my favorites and kind of one of my big sellers is the Koi fish print. And as you can see, you can see it in different settings. What I love about certain pictures like this is that you can hang them vertically or horizontally, whatever fits your space. Once again, you can have them done as t-shirts, I mean, shower curtains, pillows, t-shirts, coasters. You know, it's endless. And what's so nice is that, you know, maybe you wanna give out some little housewarming gifts. And so you can have these made up. Vista Print does a really nice job and has a lot of sales going on. And you could just look through the internet, even Walgreens, you know, the pharmacy Walgreens, they have a printing shop and they do a really fabulous um, job on printing as well. And what's nice about Walgreens is if you get it in first thing in the morning, it's done by that day. Unless they're having a big um, run, there's a lot of stuff that um, you can get that day. So if you're like, like my husband who waits the last minute to buy presents, <laughs> he can get it done right away. <laughs> um, I also, I also have another shop on here and that's, I've been doing a lot more and it's Beverly's Bazaar. So just leave off the um, art buy. And when you go to Etsy and you're trying to look somebody up, you always put the whole entire name of the shop together and you can find them very easily. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> so yeah. Oh, I forgot. I forgot to put an S in there. Sorry. <laughs> That's why I couldn't find it. All right. So this is my other shop. It's antiques, but I've really been getting into taking my antiques um, like Andrea and, um, and putting them together in a fun and playful way that um, it just to me when I go into an antique shop, it's like going into a museum. And I like to do things that have symbolic meaning to them. And this is called Weighed Down. And it's about how guilt and defeat and regret and worry weigh us down. They tie us down so we can't fly. Sorry. <laughs> I, I used um, Velcro today and, instead of my hooks. But um, this is a headpiece right here that is like a little ashtray. This is a little jello mold. This was a sugar shaker. Um, this little doll, she was broken. So I used her head and torso, beads for arms. And then um, this is from an old meat um, weight scale. And um, so I like to do stuff like that. I've been having a lot of fun with that. And um, let me go to shadow box assemblages. So, um, this was just a little Japanese family. And believe it or not, I bought every one of those pieces separately and put them together into just a fun little um, shadow box. Some other way to give them a new life and, um, and just have fun with them. I've, um, this has been a fun one. This one was Alice in Wonderland and I had this rabbit and he looked like he was nervous with biting his fingernails. So I thought that one's what inspired me. And I just used kind of some scrapbooking papers for the background, this little teapot, you know, could go with, I had that in my um, little collection as well. And so I made the little mouse coming out just to kind of go with it. I made the rose and that's all from polymer clay, those add-ons. And so I had a really good time with that. Just having fun. I wonder if it'll let me. Yeah. And then this piece, I got the um, wonderful opportunity. I won a, um, a, res a residency with the Hermitage over in Inglewood. And so this is where it kind of kicked off my, you know, combining my antiques. And you can kind of see a little bit of the same um, thing. This is called Fire Eater. <laughs> I wonder if this says something about me, but it's just about how we let worry and guilt give us, you know, anxiety and acid reflux. And, um, and if we would just turn it over to a higher power to take care of that and let our worries go and float away, we'd be so much better off. And so once again, I like the house theme. It's really a circus tent because as a teacher I felt like I was on stage and some days it was like a circus you know and so that was a little bit um a little homage to that and so but it was just it's fun and um I like making things look antique because it just gives us something to connect us with our past that it's still alive and so I just like to show how I hang it and the different parts of it and this is all from antique items and so all right am i done that is 10 minutes beverly is there anything else you'd like to share as we wrap up here's all my information um if you go to my um art by beverly's bazaar i am giving a faea deal for up 10 percent and here is my address and there's the coupon so type that in and anything in that store will be 10 percent off um, if you purchase physical um art from me directly. You can pay, you can, you can use PayPal, um, use this as my address for PayPal. And if I ship a physical canvas, it's $10, but if you throw something else in there, it's still, it'll be $10 still. So if you want more than one canvas and it says so in my art, um, if it's a canvas or if it's a digital download. And then there's my phone number if you've got any questions. So get out your phone, snap a picture real quick and um, and I think I had a chance to put that in the chat as well, yeah. Beverly. Yes. Um, 
I, I think I've got most everything there except for your phone number. So if you guys want to take a screenshot or um, a little photograph of that, so you have that information, please do. What exciting assemblage. Donna and I were like, woo, about that. So thank you, Beverly, for sharing your fine art with us today. Um, you know, the gift that um, for the person who has everything, these are the kinds of gifts that are really special to give. Um, and I think, you know, as Beverly was saying, you know, to give it up and let go of all that worry, we've got all your shopping figured out for you today, don't we? So thank you for being here, everybody. Thank you, Beverly, for um, sharing your works with us today. Um, I just want to take a moment and thank everyone. I want to thank Irina, Donna, Jack, Andrea, and Beverly for being brave and courageous and showing their work with all of us, um, sharing it and showing it and um, also selling it. So thank you for making this a special grand experiment, um, a successful one at that. Thank you, everyone, for being here and watching along with us today. Um, I look forward to hopefully hosting more of these in the future. So keep an eye out. Um, Please on the lookout for more virtual programming for, from FAEA. And also please know that the um, K-12 student art exhibition and assessment um, will be opening up very soon as well. So keep your eye out for that because it's just about time to begin submitting your students' work. I hope that everyone has a blessed and um, gratitude filled um, holiday break. I hope that you stay well. I hope that you're safe and happy, that you're able to spend time with, with friends and family and fans today. Um, thank you so much for being a part of this and um, happy holidays to everyone near and far. So thank you for joining us today, everyone. Please be well and be safe. Love to you all.